When creating novel GAL4 UAS crosses, the Firebase database can be a valuable resource to help you determine what to expect. I will help you find several pieces of data to let you characterize the genes that your driver and promoter are associated with. We can begin by looking at the gene associated with our GAL4 driver. In this case, we are using the transcription factor in GRAILD. Clicking on the gene brings us to a summary page. From here, we can click on GBrowse to see the gene as it stands in the genome. To customize our view, we click Select Tracks. For our purposes, we want to go to the expression levels and select All Tissue Types. This will let us see when the gene is transcribed. We also want to make sure the Developmental Stage Subset option is selected. We select the Browser option again and see our data visualized. Our first few rows of data each show the RNA transcription happening in a specific tissue type. If we scroll to the bottom, we can see a similar diagram showing when the gene is transcribed anywhere in the body throughout development. To better visualize this, we use the Configure Track tool. Now we look at our UAS promoter line. One way to do this is to search for the gene that you are promoting or knocking out in the simple search box. In our case, we search for the ABC transporters. We click on the genes options and see that there are a lot of them. To be able to see the data in a manageable way, we click on the hit list conversion tools, then on batch download. This brings us to a page where we can select the table format and output type. It also automatically inserts all our genes of interest into the ID box. We click select fields and then choose what data we want for each gene. This outputs a table with all the data we asked for compared side by side between all of our genes of interest. These two methods of data visualization are only a small subset of the features that Flybase is capable of, but are valuable in your understanding of a novel GAL4 UAS cross.